Hi guys, I'm Chief Prime here, back to the customer review. And today we're looking at the Transformers Legacy Shattered Glass Hot Shot. So here he is in his car mode, but of course, we're going to take a look at him. Let's take a quick look at the paints. So we have some white surface primer, which I actually, I don't think I used gray. It's, it's been a minute, as mentioned in the last video, it's been a minute since I've done some of these customs. But I don't think I used the gray. I think I used the white because I wanted the blue to look a little bit brighter. And it sort of worked, but sort of didn't. And honestly, I'm, I'm not complaining. I kind of like the darker look. Anyway. And then, of course, I did use some semi-gloss clear. I did clear coat this one, with <laughs> As well as some pure white. Some blue. And I believe it's pure red. It is either pure red or, like, brilliant red. I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Like, most shades of red for these sprays, they all just look the same to me. <laughs> like, it is... It is a problem. Like, I, I think they're all just sort of bright that I've seen. They're all, like, around the same shade of a little bit bright. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we also have some gold leaf. It'll focus. Thank you. Some red. Some blue. Which the blue is mainly just to do a little bit of color correction here and there. I'll, I'll show it off in a second. Some neutral gray. And finally, some whites. Actually, not finally, because we also used semi-gloss black. I almost forgot, but it was sitting right here. So that worked out. So here he is in his car mode, and if you guys didn't know, you know or you don't know, um, Shattered Glass Hotshot is based on the canceled Battle in a Box 2-pack smokescreen, which the uh, Shattered Glass Sideswipe is also based on the drench in that 2-pack. And of course... He got made, and so I thought it'd be funny to do this, because, you know, now now the boys can exist together, which this isn't one-to-one -one that, which I think is fine, because Shattered Glass Sideswipe had a good couple of changes from that toy, too, so I think it works. Like I said, the colors are a little bit darker. I've changed up a few of the placements here and there, which I actually have a photo of it pulled up because I forgot what I changed off the top of my head. <laughs> But this is actually done from the Powerlings hotshot that that they released, so that's why that's why I did that pretty much so that all this red I didn't have to paint. Like these are not painted. I just literally just took the paint off, and it's just the bare red, which means I got to use a clear Autobot symbol. I never get to use these, and I'm going to point out every time I use one. That's why all this red is the same. The black is the same. The black wheels are the same. The black here is the same. And then even this, I, I didn't have to repaint that. That was just already black, so it's, it's here. It's kept. I did not do Jolt, so technically the box set is still not complete. And even if I did, I would probably not base it on that Jolt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, so the changes I pretty much did from this is, A, of course, the 31 is not there. I don't even think a sticker could do that because that's such a small space. I did not do the white stripe here because this would have been pain. That would have sucked so much. So I did one down here because on the original toy, there's a bit of white poking through right here. So I decided just to carry that stripe onto the side, which I think still looks pretty nice. I didn't do the white rims. And the part under this gun is not white, but this is white, which I think is fine because the gun's going to be here anyway. But yeah, otherwise, this is for the most part the same color and color placements. Down to the black lights there in the front. I do think this looks pretty darn nice. I really, I really like how this custom turned out. Even though it's a little bit of a pain to transform. For those wanting to uh, paint this, paint one of these yourself, I don't think it was too bad. I think the worst part is these. And I couldn't get, I could only get one pin out for this entire custom. No, none of the other pins, like this would not come out. So I had to like sand it down there myself and I think and I had to like hand paint some blue in there to fix it. And also along this I had, I like painted a little bit of blue just kind of fix it which I didn't fix it well enough. You can see you can, you can sort of see a little bit of the primer line right there <laughs> from the masking. But it's okay. I I think it's fine.
We, we, we did it. We did good. We did good here. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that is pretty much it for the car mode. So let's go ahead and get him into his robot mode. And here in robot mode, there's still a couple of differences from the original one. Which I think the main two is the fact that the red on the legs I omitted. I think there's enough color breakup and separation going on with the big and bold red, white, and blue. <laughs> I, li I like that Shattered Glass Hot Shots, just America colored. <laughs> with some black and gold, but you know. And then um, these should be blue, but the reason why they're not is because I couldn't get the pins out again. And the fact that without even trying, this arm already has a, had a stress mark in it going in. So I was just like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not even going to try there. Like I, I didn't try to get the, uh, the pin out of that arm. It was, it just already had a stress mark. I think I attempted the other one. It just didn't work. Which these little bits there are actually still, are still black from the original toy. I just painted the arm itself white just so there wasn't any chipping there. And plus I couldn't really get the whole thing, you know? So I think it's fine. It's fine. Nothing wrong. The waist is also still black from the original toy, as well as the feet, and then I previously mentioned these. But uh, yeah, o otherwise, this being the Power Links Deco did not really help me out that much in this mode. <laughs> it was mostly for the car mode, robot mode, and I was on my own, which I'm fine with. This still looked pretty great. There isn't that much in the way of detail paint, as previously mentioned. Most of the detail is just in the head and chest, but I think there's enough like bare color breakup that it all just works. It kind of looks cheesy to me. I don't know what it is. I think it's just like the America looking colors and just the gold on the chest. Like something, something here is just really cheesy and funny. But I don't, I can't confirm or deny what it is. Anyway, let's get a little close up on his noggin. Because the head is actually the one difference between Shatter Glass Hot Shot and the Battle in a Box smoke screen. And that is the deco on the head. Because the original one just has like a nice silver, blue eyes, you know, he's he's an Autobot, he's gonna beat up Drench, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, here it's like his face is like darker, it has like red eyes and like the red going down, which the red going down was pain, because it's such a small area, I also did a little bit of silver doop de doops in there, and then some silver lines up there. Just because the original one, the, above his head is silver, <laughs> I, I don't even, I didn't really think of that, but it, but it is. Which, by the way, splitting this head is pain, because this is in there via, like, a little mushroom peg system, I think, and it's really hard to split it. So it took me a while to do it, but I eventually, I eventually was able to, so I could get to the eyes, which I painted around the eyes black internally, and then I painted them red just to kind of give it even more of an evil look, which I think worked out pretty well. And then the chest is the red spray paint, which matches the red plastic way better on camera than it does at all in real life. Thank you, camera, for making my custom look better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Get him back. Oop, wrong way. Camera back down here. He can still do his gimmick. Mask still comes down. You can still flip this up to the Axel Zuka, which I painted around it white, like the original toy. Just to do it. I think, actually, that was me testing something. So it didn't turn out 100%, but I forgot what it... I think I, like, I was almost out of white paint or something, I don't know. I, like, attempted it, it didn't really work. But it worked enough for that piece, because it doesn't really matter to me that much. And as I mentioned, I still, I still didn't do Jolt, so he's not technically complete. I will probably never do Jolt, unless someone just tosses me one one day, I don't know. If he wants to donate to the cause, sacrifice your Jolt, I will... Not make the one from the box set. I'll make my own. <laughs> and then for the fun comparison to bring it all home. Here he is with Shatter Glass Sideswipe. A two-pack. Alive and well once again. In the modern day. You'll love to see it. But just, just honestly, like I, I mainly did it for this. Because <laughs> I think it's really funny. Like I'd love if Hasbro did this. I could totally see... The Battle of the Box Hot Shot and like the tar like one of those Target exclusive four packs. Like, couldn't you totally see him there instead of like the uh, the Tarantula? So you see him with Prime Cliff Trumper trying to beat up Cyberverse Tarn and freaking Squeeze play. Or I could see him in some dumb Amazon theme that year 
or it's like an Autobot something or other. I don't know. If they did it, I would prefer not to be in the Shattered Glass line because I don't think it needs to be. But if it was, I don't think I'd be that upset. It isn't like Flame War being in there. But, I mean, I think it'd be fine if it was in the Shattered Glass line. I'd rather it not be, but I wouldn't be mad. I'd just be mildly upset. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Overall, th th this custom was all right. It, I, there was a few times when it nearly got doomed. To fa like, it nearly got canceled because of one issue or another. The pins not coming out, those little things I hear, the head not splitting. The only pin I managed to knock out was this one, which thank God, because I had to sand this down, which I sanded it down a little bit too much. So you see the little divot going up? <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Oh, I also cut off the tabs right there. I don't really think they're needed. Like this holds in just fine. Like these lock when you move them forward, the backpack locks in. So I think it's good. It hasn't caused me issues yet, so I think we're fine. Come on. Stand. There we go. But yeah, well worth doing. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> don't make me do it again. <laughs> but I do still like it. I, I think it was worth going up, going through and doing. I like having Shattered Glass, Armada, and Unicron Trilogy characters. I love that we're doing more. You know, there's a certain... Certain uh, new Legacy United uh, Star Cybertron Starscream that would be pretty great in Shattered Glass Colors Hasbro. I mean, there's was, was a there's a there's a Cybertron there's a Legacy United Cybertron Hotshot coming out, but look pretty good in black and yellow. Just just saying, Hasbro. Hey, you like doing that two pack that one time? Do another one. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that is pretty much all I have to say. So. Please be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews, and please don't forget to subscribe. You can also come check out my Facebook and Twitter pages, links in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime, signing out.